Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Many of you have asked me to do a round basket liner. So here it is. So this is a perfectly round one and then this is an oval one. The uh, process is the same no matter if it's round or oval. Now this is a liner for the wicker basket. You, the amount of fabric you cut out is a little different, it's a lot less. And then the wire basket, because your fabric is going to show through, you're actually having to use a little bit more fabric. Okay, let's get started. To cut the fabric out for the bottom of your basket, have your fabric with the back side up so your pretty side is against the table. And place your basket down. And just go ahead and trace around the bottom of the basket. Then when you go to cut it out, give yourself about a half inch where you cut out past the stitch line so you can use that as your seam. To measure for the fabric that goes around the side of the basket, you want to measure the top edge of your basket. So go ahead and place the tape measure around it and then add one inch to that. To measure the width for your strip of fabric that you need to go around the sides, you're going to measure from the bottom to the very top edge down here and then add three inches. For the wicker basket, you just need to cut one of each, one for the side and one for the bottom. For the wire basket, you need to cut two of each two for the side and two for the bottom. I'm going to first give you instructions for the wicker basket, the round wicker basket. And you want to take your side piece and you want to bring it together and then stitch it closed all along here. And then press your seam open. Next you want to do is uh, a basting stitch around one of the long edges. And if you don't have a basting stitch, then set your straight stitch to the longest length your machine will do. Then pull on the top thread. If it's not gathering up, you can always do a little hand basting stitch and gather it up. And you want to just lightly gather it. You don't want to make it too tight. Take your fabric for the bottom and your side piece and you're going to pin front sides, the pretty side, together. And if it's not gathered up enough, you can gather and pull on your thread just a little bit more to have it gathered. If it's too much, then of course loosen up the gathering. And let me show you on this one. Here's one that's all done right here and you want to go ahead and then stitch it all the way around and then this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just loosely gathered. Don't worry about if it's not perfect, if it's some of your gathers are spread farther apart than others. It doesn't matter. It's going to be on the inside of the basket. No one's going to notice. At the top edge of the liner, this is for the wicker basket. Your top edge is going to be done a little differently on the wire basket. So for your wicker basket, fold the edge over anywhere about a quarter of an inch and then press it. Then you want to fold it over again. And here's my elastic. I'm just using quarter inch wide elastic. You want to make sure that you fold it over double the width at least of your quarter inch elastic. So I think I folded my fabric over maybe three quarters of an inch just to be, uh, make sure. Then you're going to stitch around that edge here. You're going to stitch this down. But you want to leave a small opening, maybe a couple of inches, where you will be able to feed your elastic through because your top edge is going to be your casing for your elastic. Then take a, um, a small safety pin on your elastic and then insert it through 
the, the casing all the way around the edge. So you'll have each end of your elastic coming out this edge here. Then insert the liner into your basket. And then you're going to, you'll notice that the liner will be a little loose up at the top around here because once it folds over, it's going to stick out because the basket is coming down in like this. So now that you've got your elastic inserted, let me pull mine out. You're going to pull it to where it's just snug, not tight, but just snug. Then you take the two ends of elastic and stitch them together. And then stitch your casing closed. Now I'm going to give you instructions for the wire basket. And the reasoning why it's a little different is because you can see the fabric through the wire. So you want it to be pretty on both sides. So when you're doing a wire basket, you're going to actually cut out two of everything, two bottoms and two sides. When you go to stitch the sides together to bring them together, you're going to leave a small opening on your lining piece. So you'll just stitch a little bit on each side here and here and leave an opening. On your fabric that's for the outside, you stitch the side completely closed. And then of course, press your seam open. Then go ahead and do your basting stitch around the bottom edges. Then stitch the bottom on just like you did for the wicker basket. This is my lining and right now on your lining you want the back side of the fabric showing. This is my fabric for the outside so you want the pretty side, front side of the fabric to show. Take your outside fabric and insert it into the lining. And then you're going to line up your edges and make sure your oval shape is going in the same direction on both pieces of fabric because you don't want one going this way and the other one going this way. It's not going to work. So line up your edge and pin your edge all the way around. When you're sti stitching this top edge, you can stitch anywhere from a quarter of an inch seam to a half inch seam. It all depends on how much of a fold over you want at the end and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by fold over. So right now this is what it looks like. So here's your opening on the side. You want to reach in through that opening and begin to pull it front side out. So now it looks like this. Take your opening here on your fabric that's for the inside and go ahead and pin it closed and then stitch close to the edge right along there. Take your fabric that's for the inside and push it into the fabric for the outside. And then line up your edges even right on that seam and then press it flat. So fold your fabric over and make sure you leave enough of a fold over so that it's easy to feed your elastic through there. So you're going to stitch along this edge here. Make sure you leave an opening. So once you have your elastic inserted in, then again, put it on your basket and make sure that the elastic is snug, not tight, but just snug. Then go ahead and stitch the two ends of the elastic together, stitch your casing closed. Well, here they are. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try making a basket liner. I do have tutorials on other basket liners that are mostly for rectangle or square 
baskets. So look below your YouTube screen for those video links. You just scroll down to the description section, expand that description section open, and you'll see links listed down there. I'll also have links for other beginners sewing projects. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny and this is Scotty. See you next time.